Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times again. Now today's topic is a country in the Middle East, the name is Syria. Now right now in Syria, there is a civil war, meaning in the country, there are two sides fighting and there's a lot of people dying and houses being broken. So what's happening is over a million refugees or people that are running away from their country they are leaving Syria and they're going into different countries all around the world. Now what's special today is that we're giving them a second chance, not only at life, but also at an education. So scholarships for Syrians to finish school. Scholarships are when a sponsor or somebody else pays for your books and pays for your school tuition and pays for you to just go to school. All you have to do is study you don't have to worry about money. So the European Union is funding or providing money, college scholarships for hundreds of Syrian refugees now living in Jordan. The program offers 270 grants and intends, or grants are sort of scholarship programs, uh, giving money programs for school, and intends and wants to, wishes to fund hundreds more in the coming months. These efforts are part of a long-term program to help the refugees continue their education and find work in the countries where they are now living. So these refugees, they ran away from Syria and first they need a place to live and if they want to continue living without help, they need to learn to you know, work for themselves, right? be educated. Uh, the civil war in Syria has already lasted for years. So humanitarian aid, uh, you know, emergency aid such as water and medicine, things like that, is shifting from emergency relief like shelter, food and water to longer term assistance such as earning college degrees. So these emergency relief of housing, food and water, these are short term problems. We need to fix it right now, right? But now it is shifting. It's shifting from short term to now we're thinking about and planning about the long term, which is education and college degrees. More than 5,000 Syrians are estimated to want to resume or start again their higher education, but they cannot afford, they don't have the money to do so in the country where they are currently residing or where they're living. So they have no money to go to school again. They want to, but they have no money. And because of the conflict in their home country, because of the fighting and the civil war in their country, it is not safe for them to live there anymore. Many Syrians are now living in other Middle Eastern countries. Nearly 4.6 million refugees now live in Jordan, Lebanon, Turkey, and Iraq. Meanwhile, there are hundreds of thousands of Syrian refugees in Europe all are in search of a better life. So 4.6 million, when we look at this number, is very simple. We can say it quickly, but if we really count and try to think how many people that is, that's really an amazing amount of people that need help. Okay, we have three key review questions here. A, what is the European Union doing? The European Union, EU, is funding college blank for hundreds of Syrian refugees now living in Jordan. So these lucky hundreds of Syrian refugees, they will be able to go to college and they don't have to pay for college because somebody else, the EU, will pay for them. And when in that program, when somebody pays for your education, we call that a scholarship. So if you want a scholarship, then of course you have to study hard and then somebody else will say, hey, here's some money, go to school. B, what do some Syrians seem to want? More than 5,000 Syrians are blank to want to resume their higher education. So there's a lot of refugees, right? We said 4.6 million refugees. Now we can't ask all of them, do you want to go to college again? Do you want to go to college again? We have to sort of guess and we have to sort of calculate using numbers uh, about how much there are. And if we want sort of a guess or about number or approximate number, 
we say it's an estimate. So when you're estimating, you're sort of guessing uh, uh, what will happen in the future. An educated guess, I guess. C. How many Syrians are in Europe? There are hundreds of thousands of Syrian blank in Europe. So right now in Syria, there's a war. And so they're running away, running for their lives, literally. Uh, so we're not talking about tourists in Europe. They're not there on vacation. They're not visiting Europe. It's not for fun. They want to live there. They're running away from something, from their country. And we say those kind of people are refugees. Uh, refugees are, can be from you know, a poor country. It can be from a dangerous country or an unfair country. Okay. We have three key terms here. A, these efforts, these programs are a part of blank programs to help the refugees continue their education. So uh, education, it, when we go to school, we don't get the reward right away. It's not like we go to school and then that day we get a reward. We have to educate and later we will get the job and we will get the good money and things like that so it's more in the future it's not immediate it's more delayed it's sort of a delayed gratification so we say it's a long-term program so we want to fix uh, problems that will happen later in life b humanitarian aid is blank from emergency relief to longer term assistance such as earning college degrees. <clears throat> so we want to have long-term programs, them going to school, right? Um, but before, it was more short-term programs, emergency programs, water, food, things we, people need right away. But now we're sort of moving away, we're sort of shifting our idea into the long-term plan. <clears throat> I said the answer, it is shifting. When you're shifting, you're sort of moving from one place to a different place okay you're shifting around from you know places you can shift around from ideas C all are blank a better life so where they are now it's not a very safe life it's not a nice life and they are all looking for or they're trying to locate and make themselves a better life so another way we can say to find or to locate something it is in search of. So they are looking for or they are trying to find a better life for themselves outside of Syria. So to review, long term is when we're talking about the opposite will be short term, right? The short term problems or the short term concerns we have is we have to go to the bathroom, I'm hungry. But long term would be where am I going to live 10 years from now? You know, am I going to get married in 20 years, right, for you. Uh, shifting is when we are moving from one place to another, right, sort of as a group. And in search of is when you're trying to find something and locate something and you're looking for something, all right? <clears throat> so next time, I'm sure you guys have heard, all heard about Syria in the news and I want you guys to really pay attention because this is a really serious problem that we have in the world. It might be one of the biggest problems concerning people in the world that we have today. All right, so thank you for joining us for Junior Times. My name's Chris from Reading Town. I'll see you next time.